Hey Pocket Sweet Pro. If you watched the last video on how to share my booking link, I lied. That's actually not the biggest question that we get all the time. The biggest question that we get all the time is how do I see what my clients see? When they, when I share that booking link, that's all great. But how do I know what they're looking at? How do I know if I need to tweak something? Well, if you found yourself ever wondering the same things, um, then this video is for you. If you want to kind of work through the um, booking flow that your clients are going to see, you can just always tap on settings in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Then you're going to scroll down to the section that says online booking under um, your marketing suite. If you tap on there and you tap share in the upper right hand corner, and then you hit that preview, so it's not the big blue one, you hit share first in the upper right hand corner and then preview. The really neat thing about this is you get to actually experience this, how your clients are gonna see. So the first thing they're gonna tap, they're gonna do is tap on book now. Then if you have categories set up with uh, different services nestled underneath them, this is what they'll see first. They'll see a list of your categories. They'll select a category, they will pick um, the service that they want. Um, if you have team members, AKA employees, they will see the list of those people next that can perform whatever service they selected. Um, then they will pick a day, they will pick a time. They will have to enter their mobile number. Then they will be sent a verification code to make sure that they are who they say they are. Um, finally, um, they will see whatever kind of questions you have added to the checkout here. Um, if it doesn't have an asterisk, it means it's not required. So they can skip it. Um, next, they'll see location of either where they're going to, if they're coming to you, or if you travel to your client, this is where they'll enter the address that you're going to be coming to. Finally, um, if you had card put on file, uh, this is where they will see it. Notice at the bottom, it says your card information will never be shared with this business, right? It has how much they're going to be charged if they cancel after that deadline that you set. Um, and then it has whatever you spelled out. So the cancellation policy is super visible right there. Um, they'll tap on next. Then they will be taken to basically whatever form or contract you attached either to the service or um, to the checkout process, okay? Um, I'm just gonna put anything here just to kind of fill it out. So, oh, I missed a couple, okay. But notice if I didn't pick the specific type of question, I can, the, like the, your client can actually just put whatever they want. Um, then there's a credit card authorization contract that my client will read and and uh, sign and then it says you're all set so you get to kind of work through this um, the whole way like and see what your clients will see so again tapping on settings online booking and then share in the upper right hand corner and preview and just work your way through it a pro tip is to maybe create like a something that is priced you know at zero just to test it so you're not actually charging yourself or um you know you can price it however and just not collect a deposit just to kind of test it without you know actually spending any money but that is how you can see what your clients are seeing when they book you i hope that this video was helpful and i will see you at the next one